We're up on the trellis, close to our house, where we have the kiwi plant. Well, most 90% of what you see here is one kiwi plant. January is prime kiwi time. So we are going to, that's going to be one of our stories today, is figuring out how to use all these kiwis, because we have buckets and buckets and buckets of kiwis. So the, the first thing we did was kiwi pie with a graham cracker crust, and it was heavenly. And then Kyle, of course, was not satisfied and tried to get more out of that, and we'll see where that goes. And then the second story has to do with our neighbor that we took up the coast for a little trip. Uh, and so we'll just show you a little bit of that. But I uh, hope you enjoy this week's episode. And let's start with the first Kiwi adventure thing. Yesterday, yesterday much, yeah. much to my chagrin, yeah. yesterday we, we made one, a solely kiwis, very delicious. Well, that's not, that's not to my chagrin, that's to my delight. This is to my chagrin. Well, you know, Snapple has kiwi strawberry and banana and stuff, so I'm mixing, I'm gonna mix in banana and kiwi. Dilute, I believe is Whatever. the word. It, it enhances, it's like a mixed drink. And strawberry glaze on top, which before was kiwi glaze. I have a feeling I may be dishing out an apology. Oh, here it comes, here it comes. Oh yeah. <coughs> oh yeah. What do you say? <laughs> oh, I'm yeah. sorry, Kyle. That's what you say. Go ahead and taste it first. Why is he saying he's sorry? Well, the audience knows. Bad mouth. Not sure about the strawberry, but I'm mostly saying that because I have to say something. Don't worry, we'll edit that part out. <laughs> well, upon the suggestion that wouldn't it be a good idea mixing kiwi and chocolate in a pie, that somehow brought on a challenge between Luke and I, seeing who can make a more pristine, coolest use of kiwis. And I want to see got the parfait here with the yogurt oh yeah sour yogurt on top it's not sour yogurt oh yeah can't get more decadent than that kiwis and bran you know people think that oatmeal is like ooey gooey oatmeal but it's actually the most delicious breakfast there ever was if you do it right it's like a dessert I'll show you sometime Eclair is an knows what he's talking Eclair ain't a bad second choice. Sliced kiwi with a cocoa cream filling in the cracks laid on top of a buttered flour tortilla. Granted, it does look a little more disgusting than I originally thought it was going to be, but I'm sure it'll be a lot better than bran flakes and sour kiwi with sour yogurt, which is what we've made. Which would you eat? Right. We're at Waddell Beach on our way up the coast with our friend Hua. Uh, the most wonderful man in the universe. Who is leaving? He's our neighbor. And he's leaving for China uh, later this month, in fact. And if his current employer wasn't such a witch, he'd be here forever. Right. Which is, would be a good thing. If I can go for mass, it's mass equals momentum. Momentum. Wah. Wow. Now this, this is a real skipper stuff. Before picking up a few souvenirs, Papa found this piece of abalone. 
on the beach, which can be used for some instruments or whatever. I just need to get some time, but we're go. Well, this place is old. Online is two words. Wow, how quaint. Luke and I are splitting crab and a burger. This food is dangerous. Look what you get for ordering crab. Free towels. Hot towels. Hot towels like that. A little room in back here. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I can't take him anywhere. <laughs> I'm glad you got your lips there. Now we got the same. No, that's mine. <laughs> I'm in here. We are here at this lighthouse where I guess apparently Mama and Papa were had a picture taken of them in front of this when Mama was pregnant with Luke. So we're doing it again now to kind of get a before after shot, you know. I came out eventually, but that was a few years ago, later. You can get smoking benches and non-smoking benches. Ow. Oh. Uh. <laughs> That's absurd. Personally, I <laughs> like to light up. That's absurd. <laughs> non-smoking. Are oh, you kidding? Hua had a great time. To sum him up in a few words, he's one of the most awesomest, coolest, bravest, most beautiful people I have ever met. And frankly, <clears throat> If all communists are the same as he is from China, if they were all like him, I would have no problem with them taking over the world. He's that great. And unexpectedly, we managed to have a little Huey Bull story. So how's that for a little common thread thing? So thanks for watching today's episode. We're gonna go up and make some kiwi pies now and join us next Tuesday for um, what's one thing that they're gonna be able to see. While we tell you the benefits of coconuts and showing you our coconut tree. Or not. That's not true. Kyle does this sometimes where he says, you know. I, I like to act stupid because I like making other people feel better about themselves because I'm just a nice guy like that. One of these days, I have hopes to week. become a saint.